Hi guys. So today I'm going to look at do's and don'ts for smoky eyes. Um, it was one of my tips on this week's 10 years younger quick tricks. Quick caveat is that of course with smoky eyes, um, it's completely open to artistic interpretation. So kind of smoky eye I'm going to demonstrate isn't going to be the kind of smoky eye you might see in a beautiful editorial um, makeup look. So whilst um, I don't want any artist on here to be like, that's wrong or whatever, I'm just putting it out there. What I want to show you is easy, foolproof, smoky eyes that help help you look kind of brighter still, that don't, that aren't unflattering. I hope that makes sense. I just want to put that out there before anyone um, suggests that I'm trying to say the way I'm going to demonstrate is the only way to do a smoky eye. Does that make sense? Okay, bit of a long intro, but I thought it was really important to say because whilst I've demonstrated this as a no or a don't, I've created eyes like this at Fashion Week and it's absolutely fit the brief that, you know, the look we're trying to achieve. So I get asked all the time, oh, I want to do a smoky eye, but every time I do, I look like I've been punched in the face or I just can't get it right. What I often see is this kind of eye. So the liner along the lower lash line is black and it's hard and it's unblended. The shadow itself on the lid is kind of smudgy and creasy, hard, edges that kind of create that circular look. So on this side, let's do something all the more flattering that's still really simple and really pretty. So I'm going to use what I used on the show and I started with the Velvet Shadow Stick from NARS in the shade, I want to say Oaksaka, Oaksaka, which is like a slightly muted grey. So first thing to notice, you don't always have to jump to black to create a smoky eye. So I'm going to take the shadow stick and blend it all over the lid. Now I love to use cream shadow sticks for smoky eyes because they act as a brilliant base for powders to be blended on top so you don't get any of that kind of creasing. Now with an eyeshadow brush, this is a Kit Stars Feather Blender. I'm just going to start blending that cream and this part is really important in fact when you're using a cream don't wait too long but can you see how the act of blending the edge of that shadow is helping the shadow to come right up through the crease of the eye so on this side there's a hard stop this side it's just blending up into the crease so this side we've got this thick, dark, hard line. I want to avoid that on this side. So I'm going to take the same, the same cream shadow. I'm just going to run it all along the lower lash line, relatively thick. And then with the same brush, again, I'm just going to smudge that. I always find for a smoky eye, the thicker and deeper the smudge, the better. So you can see at the moment, it's still looking like quite a gentle smoky eye, but that doesn't mean we can't layer to make something really impressive. Okie dokie. So I suppose the first point of call is you can start light and build the colour. So now I'm going to go into a black liner pencil. This is the Victoria Beckham Black Cudgel. I'm just going to take that all the way along my lower lash line. So I'm going to be relatively generous because I do want to blend this out because remember, smoky is the key. But do you see where I'm making the darkest point? I'm making the darkest point at the root of the lashes. So on this side, the darkest point is at the root. On this side, it's like the darkest point is actually at the top. Now with a Dear Dahlia brush, I'm just going to go over that cudgel, which is really nice and soft. I'm going to blend the edge of it. And you see I'm blending that up the lid. So gradually that gorgeous black is getting higher and higher, but the darkest point is still at the root of the lashes. I can pull it out a little 
if I want. There we go. So just gently pulling up and the kind of smaller, firmer headed brush like this Dear Dahlia one make this job much easier. If your brush is too fluffy, then you're not gonna get a nice even blend. And there you go, I've, I've almost pulled it as high as the crease of the eye. So don't worry about pulling it too high. Remember smokiness is the key. And I find for the best smoky eye, you don't want to see any harsh lines or overly defined edges. So there you go. All we've done is use one single cream shadow stick and one eyeliner colour. And you see we're getting that gorgeous diffused colour look. Now I'm going to take a little bit of that liner pencil on the smudgy brush. I'm actually going to take from the pencil and then I'm just going to push that right into the root of the lashes along the lower lash line. So I'm still getting black right at the root like I have on this side but because it's blending into an already present grey and then because it is so gently smudged you get the intensity but none of that hard hard definition that was achieved on the other side. So let me just, I'm going to look into my bronzer compact just to make sure that's really nicely buffed. And I'm actually spending a bit of time trying to push the brush above the lashes because I want to make sure that right in between, let me show you here, right in between the tip of the lashes, I'm hiding any pink skin, not the entire waterline. I'll come on to that in a second. But I want to make sure that none of that pinky skin is emanating through the lashes. Now, I do want to say at this point, you know, I've got much more um, kind of technical smoky eyes on my YouTube channel. And I do love, you know, a smoky eye with more colours blended. What I'm trying to do now is show quick, easy, simple flattering smoky eyes. Now, if you want to intensify further, you absolutely can. I've got a black shadow here. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to do a secret bit of liquid liner right at the very root of the lashes, just to ensure that the root of my lashes is as dark as it can be. But I'm not going to do um, a flick or anything. This is more just like a hidden liner just to make sure the root is definitely the darkest point. Fab. Then I'm going to give these lashes a curl, always a curl. So then got plenty of mascara. And it's really important when you're doing a smoky eye that the intensity of your mascara matches the intensity of the look that you're doing. If you've done really dark bold eyes and then you've got insipid mascara it just you lose the lashes and all you see is the dark shadow behind it so i probably do a couple of coats of mascara this is the Guerlain mad eyes and what i love to do is i love to go in then after a good coat of that with the urban decay lash freak let's do the lower lashes too Just teasing the tips with the tip of my mascara wand. I find using the tip of the wand ensures I get a much cleaner application. Sometimes if I turn the wand horizontally, that's when I can accidentally get mascara onto my lower lid, which I don't want to do. And then let's just go over that. So I'm ensuring that we get as much lash going on as possible. So this is the Lash Freak from Urban Decay. And it's got a really brilliant comb that really helps separate the lashes whilst giving them an extra coat of drama. Now I said before, if you wanted to, you could go back in and make the whole thing darker if you want. So I've got a black shadow here. This is Flory Black by my beauty brand. I'm just pressing that 
along the lash line. How dark you take it is up to you, but by adding powder at the root, it's just very gently intensifying this makeup look. Again, being sure to avoid any hard lines or tough edges. There we go. Fab. So I hope that's been helpful. I'll just run through it again. Don't go too dark or too hard and unblended. Do start lighter, diffuse up through the crease, keep the lash line the darkest point and gently diffuse out. Now this, I've done this in kind of grey and charcoal because I think that's what most people commonly associate with smoky eyes, but this works with all colours, whether it's browns, plums, blues, green, the same concept applies. One last thing, if you want to line the waterline as well, instead of jumping instinctively to black, try doing it with a brown. This is the Max Factor Brown Coal Pencil because it will just take away kind of the fleshy pinky shade of the waterline. But by being brown, it's just that little bit softer than black. Mwah. Hope that was helpful, guys.